Good day everyone. So, i-discuss natin ngayon about composition of functions. Now, meron tayong apat na functions, no? And then, let's give some examples. Let's say, number one, uh, pinapahanap sa atin ay, uh, let's say we have P composed of F of X. So, tandaan ito, no? Yung hollow circle na maliit, ibig sabihin composed. So, this is the composition of P and F of X. Okay? So, this is equal to P of F of X. Parang complicated, ano? Pero madali lang yan. Ganito lang. P, what is our F of X? So, papalitan natin yan from our given. Nasaan yung F of X? Ito. So, we write 2X plus 1. Okay. Now, so, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon ay hanapin natin yung P of X. Ito yon. So, ito na ang gagamitin nating function. Tapos, lahat ng x, papalitan natin ng 2x plus 1. Since p dito. So, we have equals 2. We copy 2. Ang ipapalit natin, no? substitute natin dyan ay ito na. 2x plus 1. Then, we copy this plus 1. Over. Again, yung x, papalitan natin ng 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. Then, meron ding plus 1 dito. So, we just copy plus 1. Or, pwede na nating tanggalin itong parenthesis, ano? Kasi wala namang number dito. Eh, wala tayong ita times dyan. Unlike dito, na may number, so kailangan nating ilagay sa parenthesis. Uh, we have to simplify this. Ang gagawin natin ay... Uh, dito natin lagay. We have to simplify this gamit ang distributive property. So, 2 times 2x, iyan ay 4x. Then, we have 2 times 1. That's positive 2. Then, kopya lang ito. Huwag mong i-times yan sa 2 ha, hindi kasama yan. So, we just copy plus 1. Over. Okay, so we just copy 2x. Then, pwede na nating i-add ito, no? 1 plus 1 is 2. So, we write plus 2. Okay, so we copy 4x. Pwede nating i-simplify 2. 2 plus 1, that is positive 3. Over, wala na tayong pwedeng i-add dyan. So, we just copy 2x plus 2. Okay? Actually, pwede nating i-factor itong 2x plus 2 using common monomial factor. Pero kahit i-factor natin yan, wala namang factor itong numerator eh. No? As is yan. So, wala tayong makakancel pa rin kahit i-factor natin yan. So, therefore, eto na yung ating sagot. Okay, so let's have number 2. Let's say, Q composed of F of X. So, this is equal to Q of F of x. So, Q. Substitute natin. Ano ba yung f of x natin? That is 2x plus 1. Ito yun. Okay. Now, hanapin natin yung Q of x. Ito yun. No? So, lahat ng x, papalitan natin ng 2x plus 1. So, imbes na x, we write 2x plus 1. Since my square, so lagay natin sa parenthesis, lahat yan is square minus 2, ano nga ulit yung ipapalit kay x, that is 2x plus 1. So since multiplication yan, lagay natin sa parenthesis. Then, kopya lang si plus 1. Now, simplify natin to, this is square of a binomial. Paano nga ba mag-square ng binomial? Una, multiply by itself yung 2x. So, that is 4x squared. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. Next, times mo to, 2x times 1, that is 2x, times 2. Ganun ha, times 2 kapag square of a binomial. Ulitin ko, 2x times 1, 2x times 2, 
that is 4x. Then, ito naman, you multiply by itself, 1, plus, 1 times 1 is 1. Next, distribute natin ito. Okay, so magiging minus 4x. Then, distribute also this one, magiging minus, kasi magkaiba ng sign, so minus 2. 2 times 1 is 2. You simply copy this one. Then, combine like terms. Sino ang may x squared? Siya lang. So, wala nang iba eh, no? So, we just copy 4x squared. Sino naman ang may x? Si 4x minus 4x, 0. Wala na yan. 1. Ito naman yung mga walang variables. 1 minus 2. That's negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1. That is also 0. Ulitin ko. 1 minus 2, negative 1. Negative 1, sulat ko, negative 1 plus 1. Itong 1 na natira, 0 din yan. So, wala na tayong isusulat. So, our answer is 4x squared. Next, let's have number 3. Uh, let's say... We have f composed of g of x. So this is equal to f of g of x. Okay? f. Ano nga ulit yung g of x natin? Ito yun. Okay? Square root ng x plus 1. So hahanapin ngayon natin yung f of x. This one. So, lahat ng x dito, papalitan natin ng square root ng x plus 1. So, we just copy 2 times. Papalitan ulit natin yan ng square root ng x plus 1. We copy this plus 1. Okay, now, hindi mo pwedeng i-distribute yan ha? Kasi meron tayong radical sign. So, actually, Ganyan na lang yan, tanggalin na lang natin yung parenthesis 2, square root of x plus 1, then you copy plus 1. Wala na tayong pwedeng simplify dyan. So this is now our answer. How about this one? F composed of G of 3. So, hindi na x ang, ang nandito, kundi meron ng, um, meron ng number. So, this is equal to f of g of 3. So, f. So, kailangan nating mahanap muna yung value ng g of 3. So, paano magagawa yan? So, hanapin natin yung g of x. Nasaan ang g of x? Ito. So, ang gagawin natin, I uh, will write g of 3 is equal to yung x dito, papalitan natin ng 3. So, the square root ng 3 plus 1. So, ang g of 3 natin ay equal sa what is 3 plus 1? That is 4. So, therefore, ano ang square root ng 4? That is 2. So, itong g of 3 that is equal sa 2, ito ang isa substitute natin dito. So, imbes na g of 3, papalitan na natin ng 2. So, hanapin na ngayon natin si f of x. Ito yon So, si f of x, lahat ng x dito, papalitan na natin ng 2. So, we copy 2 times ano yung x natin? That is 2 plus 1. So, what is 2 times 2? That's 4. Then, we copy plus 1. And that's 5. Okay? Akala mo mahirap, pero madali lang. And, let's have number 5. Let's say, G composed of Q of 4. So, this is equal to G of Q of 4. So, G, ngayon, 
Ano ang value ng Q of 4? So, solve natin. So, we have Q of 4. Q of 4 is equal to. So, nasaan yung Q of X? Ito yon yung Q. So, imbes na X ang lagay natin dyan, papalitan natin ng 4. So, write 4 squared minus 2. Palitan natin to ng 4. Kasi 4 dito, plus 1. So, ang Q of 4 natin is equal to, what is 4 squared? 4 times 4, 16. 2 times 4, 8. Kopya, plus 1. So, Q of 4 is equal to 16 minus 8. That's 8. Plus 1. So, therefore, ang value ng Q of 4 ay 9. So, itong 9 na to, ito ang isa-substitute natin dito. So, isusulat natin 9. So, G of 9. So, nasaan ba ang G of X? Ito yon. Now, papalitan natin sa X ng 9. So, the square root of, yung base na X, lagay natin 9 plus 1. So, the square root of 9 plus 1 is 10. Meron bang square root ang 10 na whole number? I think wala. Pwede bang simplify square root of 10? Hindi na pwede. So, our answer is the square root of 10. See? Madali lang.